Lincoln, and we are here at 2509 Edison Highway. And I'm going to step out of the way to let you see what's going on. They're preparing right now for tonight's event. While violence could come up as a topic, this is considered a life-affirming event where men and women can discuss anything that they want. Um, and that's going to start at 8 o'clock tonight. Several events have been held today for Ceasefire Weekend, each honoring mothers who have suffered tremendous loss. On this Mother's Day weekend, a march for peace. The path, starting at North Avenue and Broadway, heading to Orlean Street. Organizers say they picked this area of East Baltimore on purpose because a lot of killing has happened here. This is to honor the lives lost to gun violence and the mothers who have suffered tremendous pain because of that loss. Marlon Johnson says this is the first Mother's Day she will celebrate with her three daughters, but without her son, DeRay, a talented musician who was killed in January of this year. Having him not here, I couldn't imagine not protesting and standing for peace and unity in the city that we came from. But even with the call to ceasefire, gunfire did cause injuries over the weekend. Friday night, a shooting in the 500 block of Normandy Avenue in southwest Baltimore. A 37-year-old man shot multiple times. Police say he was taken to an area hospital. Another shooting early Saturday morning in northwest Baltimore. Police say they found a 29-year-old man shot in the 3500 block of Woodland Avenue. That victim was also taken to the hospital. The mothers that have already lost their sons and daughters, we want to be able to support them on this weekend that they feel the loss, they feel the grief. We want to, we want to provide the support, and in addition to providing the support, we absolutely want to cry out to stop the killing, stop the violence. Again, this evening we are at a what's being called a life-affirming community discussion. It starts tonight at 8, and we'll have much more on ceasefire tonight at 11. Reporting live from East Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.